She make it clap, clap, clap. She make it clap, clap, clap. The same curve. I always run over that fucking car. That respectable girl. Peace can get it on. He's got the dong. He's got the dong. He's got the dong. Peace can get it on. Why did you call me Krista B. Isaiah? Why did you call me that? Hmm? Why did you call me that? Answer me. Oh, really? So he wants to he wants to admit that he was seeing me when he was on probation? Oh, okay. Let's go there. Let's go there. Hmm. So, you stupid mother you broke the law. You're so stupid. What is he going to show? What is he going to show? What is he going to show? <laughs> you want to go there? You want to go there, you stupid mother Okay. So, you want the truth? Since he's bringing up Krista Bizayo, that is another Maria Pondu account that I created to talk to him while he was not allowed to talk to me. So, the whole time that he was not allowed to talk to me, he was talking to me, the whole time. And that's what, you're gonna show proof of that? There you go. What else? Every single thing you think you're gonna out me for will make you look 10 times worse. Absolutely. You think you're smart with Didi, you're gonna me over? Do it, Natter, I dare you. I dare you, do it, do it, do it. You have no idea what I've recorded when we when we were together. You have no idea what I have recorded. So Krista B. Zion, yeah, I made an account to message him like privately because obviously being careful, I wasn't legally allowed to be with him. But we did. I went to Motel Adam. I went to because that day I was at Burger King and you guys were like Right after I got off live at Burger King, that one day I got my nails done. Remember I got my nails done with the glitter? I think that was the Motel Adam night. And this is why I was saying, I don't wanna, I couldn't, I had to lie to you guys because that's why I even said, I'm like, if I don't lie, he goes to jail. So I had to lie about it. So I lied about it. But he's gonna bring up Krista Bizayo and show our DMs when, actually that was the Krista Bizayo account that I was messaging from, which I recently fucking blocked him from. Like. He called me, so after I got off Burger King, I was like, I wasn't talking to him. I was planning on not, of staying away from him. He fucking calls me on Messenger. I think, I don't know if you guys remember that. He calls me on Messenger and he's like, hey, right, first thing he says, you f Cuba? And I'm like, yeah, I did. <laughs> I said, yeah, I did, because I'm not a fucking liar. I've t I was loyal to you the whole time because I always said, I don't want to be a cheater anymore. I don't want to be a cheater anymore. And for some reason, my brain believed him, like, from the second day I met him when he was like, I don't cheat, I don't lie. That's, like, stuck in my brain, and I can't scrape the fuck out, and it sucks. So I believed him all this time, all this time, up until, like, the other day, okay? But, well, in gut instinct, I'm like, mm, probably something's wrong, but, you know, you do not want to f*** with me. You do not want to f*** with me, Mr. Greenpeen. Trust me and believe trust me and believe shut your mouth take the loss keep doing your shitty cooking videos with do 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 and shoo shoo oh bro and just shut your mouth while you're ahead because you know what you're gonna look so much worse are you insane you do not know that i have bank statements so much proof like that will make you look so bad so you better shut your mouth okay well actually go expose me for what expose me for what loving you messaging you and and telling you off after i think you're cheating on me that grow up learn something learn from this experience learn that you've been a piece of shit for a whole year own it apologize own your shit. grow up be a man make your own money get your own place and you're lying to everybody about that too how do people not know you're lying? Where's your job you were supposed to have? Where's your apartment you were supposed to have? You were supposed to get it with me. So instead of being a 
online piece of crap. Go online and say, yes, Chantal is right. You know what you need to do? This is what you need to do. This is what you need to do on your next live. Being a real man. And you need to go online and you need to say every single thing I've said is true. Because it is. And you need to own it. Because if not, it's just going to be downhill for you for the rest of your life with every relationship you have. Because you're a narcissist and you cannot change because you don't want to change. Because you blame everyone else for your actions. Everyone else is responsible for where you are in life today. Everyone. You can't make it to your appointment. My fault. You don't have cigarettes. My fault. Your life sucks. I make you sick. Your food turned out like shit. My fault. I didn't cut the cheese properly. My fault. Right? And because of that, I will never be able to be with you. No one will ever be able to be with you because you're just going to keep blaming everyone else for your fucking mistakes and you're going to keep being a shitty person to people. Everyone runs away from you because of you. Don't you ever think maybe you're the problem? That guy that was at your house drunk that one day? Yeah, the truth hurts, Natter, and it makes you really, really angry, doesn't it? And you become so defensive. Well, how about you try a different approach for a change and actually look at the situation and think, oh yeah, maybe I f***ed up too. You're nothing but a liar. You've always been a liar. You've always been a cheater. You gave me an STD. You are a piece of crap. And you have some nerve now to come online and try to talk shit about me when you were the one who was a piece of crap for a whole year to me. So I'm done. I'm done talking about you. I don't want you in my life. <laughs> I'm done. You don't even know how to turn on the fucking camera before you met me. And now you have a platform and at least you're making something and you have me to thank for that. So you know what? I've done more good for you. If we list all of the things I've done for you in life in the past year versus what you've done for me, I think I'm the one getting screwed over here. And I think I have a fucking right to say it. You geriatric comb over you laughing at me for having a chin. Look at you. This is you. Thanks, Natter, for everything. Have fun in your purple bed that's soaked with my juices. Goodbye. The purple mattress? Take that white layer off. It's sunk into the mattress. Dee Dee, every time you sleep, you're sleeping on me. On my DNA. You're an idiot. And Alyssa, I'm blocking you for supporting him. Screw you. Anyone who supports him, and I see in his chat, I'm blocking. Like, when I get home, I'm blocking you all. Who support him? It's bullshit. He's a piece of shit liar. He's actually, if you actually believe that he never slept with me, you have mental brain damage, like, worse than him. And I'm sorry, but Dee Dee, you're gonna open your big mouth now? Because now you, you don't have to protect him from the law? Maybe his probation officer would like to know you're full oh my god when i get home a new set of screenshots is going to be revealed my love proving you were with me the whole time you're not allowed to you were let out on bond on the condition you weren't to see me i didn't have that rule i didn't i was allowed so guess what you're in shit liar 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 i don't want any fake beezers in here all of you are fake and i'm blocking you all when i get home i need to cut this piece of parasite and all the negativity from my life i cannot handle this shit anymore it's not a joke to me anymore i'm done i'm done i'm gonna show all my bank statements i just can sent you 500 dollars the other day you broke piece of every single thing in your life was paid for by me everything and you're gonna sit there smug on panel with dd you you are not gonna be able to handle what's gonna happen to you when i out you out you out you out you and you yes, I can go back to the cops anytime I want to and repress charges on you for the last time you smacked me across the face at Hotel Monville when I didn't order you octopus because you're a piece of shit. you know what I should go back to the police station and be like this guy is he hit me he's still talking shit about me and get another peace bond on him because that's like I'm serious like he's gonna drive me nuts like I cannot I cannot deal I like, I need to quit YouTube. Like, I cannot deal with seeing his ugly face and her face on the same platform as my, as me. So when I get home, I'm going to be blocking people who are just over there sleeping him. Look at the bed. The villa? Really? At least I pay my own bills. At least I pay the rent for the villa, you broke bum. Who pays the rent on that? You're going to talk about her apartment like it's yours? That's all you ever do. All you ever do, you big, stupid bum, leech off other people. That's all you do is leech off of other people. You want to out Krista Bizayon? Krista Bizayon will screw you over. 
Guess what, bro? Krista B's like, I was going to screw you over. Yeah, because you know what? You, in that messages, have said so many times, I need cigarettes. Can you send me money? I'm broke. Send me money. I need to pay back Didi. You and Didi. And I know Didi, she's admitted to me she's not good with money like her other members of her family. She's a broke. She's an Aries and she's bad with money. Have fun supporting him because he's expensive, girl. He's expensive and have fun getting STDs because if you think he's not going to cheat on you, you're dreaming. He f***ed me in your purple bed many, many, many times. You don't think he's going to f***ing do it? Oh, but no, you're just his friend, right? If you're such his friend, then why are you so f***ing? crying bullshit every time I go pick him up. You have a dick that's stretched out from having gonorrhea and has stretch marks on it. Any woman who wants to go near that biohazard. Can you believe this asshole? Can you f***ing believe this asshole forever falling for that asshole? Oh, oh. Dude, lay off the speed. Everyone can see you. Like, you're freaking, you're f***ing insane. He, it's so funny, the facade he puts on. Yeah, so I'm moving to Montreal with a friend. Just gonna stay with her just for a little bit while I get my job. I got a job lined up and making it look like he's got his all together. Meanwhile, behind the fucking scenes, he's stressing out because he didn't pay his fucking April rent. Because, uh, so the landlord's up his ass. He's struggling. I paid for movers to go move all his shit. I'm not on here talking about how ugly you are and everything because I you. So I'm not going to look like a stupid asshole talking about how gross you are all the time and how fat and ugly or how scrawny and ugly you are because I f***ed you. So if I made fun of you after I f***ed you over and over, I would look like an asshole making fun of you. Guess what, Natter? You look like an asshole. <laughs> yeah, buddy. You lived in a f***ing trap house in Gatineau. I can clean my house in three hours. And then what? You had a f***ing mini fridge and a f***ing crappy stove. Like, you have nothing. You're going to make fun of my villa? You have nothing. Even if my villa is dirty, I pay 2000 a month rent out of my pocket. And I pay 900 out of your shitty, for your shitty f***ing trap pad. So I could go there and get addicted to drugs with you and be abused by you and be treated like shit by you and cheated on by you and given gonorrhea by you. I don't like anal sex. I'm your ass tonight. I asked Dee Dee last time I was over. Do you like anal sex, Dee Dee? Yeah. Guess what? You're probably f***ing her ass every night, right? I hope Dee Dee helps you with that. Maybe she can get a lawyer. I don't know. Maybe she can get you a better lawyer since you're so against public defenders. Didn't you spend 80000 on the last lawyer for your other case? With your two stabbings? And you lost anyway? The only, and the only reason you were like, oh, they dropped the charges, so I'm not guilty. No. I had to really change my story and basically lie on my new statement. Well, if I get in shit and go to jail for that, oh well. I guess I'll have to do my... I'll have to answer. I'll take responsibility on that. It's sad, honey, that you think you're a boss bitch, but you've been working at the same job for 27 years, and they're going to fire your ass or threaten to fire your ass, or slap you on the wrist and spank your diaper bum bum over f***ing simping for Natter on company time and making up lies for him. You are a Nosferatu. You know why? Because you're a energy sucking vampire. Energy sucking vampire. What an idiot. Why would you, why would you talk about Krista Bizoyle? Like, why would you do that? The only reason I made that account is to talk to you when we weren't allowed to talk to each other. Why don't you tell them how you lie to make your food look better? Like on the barbecue when you took a bite of that rib. You, if you watch him holding it like that, it's because it was so tough. He was like chewing it and then a piece came off and he's like, how am I going to put that on camera? So he held it with his hand like, and then took a bite to make it look like it would just come off. I'm not harassing you, dumbass. So there's nothing you can do. You can't stop me from talking about my truth. Go give him a blowy while he listens to Fourth Pyramid and Jane smokes in your face. Defamation? Defamation? Prove it. Have fun with that. You don't even have any money, dumbass. You ruined your own reputation when you moved him in. She's all kissing his ass. He was just dissing you the other day, Dee Dee, to move in with me. He said he can't stand living with you anymore, and here you are simping for him. How stupid do you look? Like, everything I said about you is true, Dee Dee, and you deserve it. I don't feel bad for you at all. They're going to the cops? With what? 
to say that he abused me? That he hit me? What are you gonna say at the cops? I'd like to know. <clears throat> no, I didn't get- I didn't give him any financial help money, no. Just because of him, though, I'm in this fucking predicament. I used to order takeout every day and I never had problems with money, remember? When I was mukbanging? And actually, his ex, who had to move away to get away from him, said that she's still recovering financially from having been with him. She's like, I would love to go on a trip. She's like, I love how, how I love Cuba. I wish that we could go on a girlfriend's trip someday. But I'm still recovering financially from being with asshole. No. I can't get in trouble for breaking it. Because I wasn't given a no contact order. He can't. Mind your business, Moonpatch. Is it your business? No. Did I ask you for money? To pay for my food? Did I ask you for money? No? Okay. Bye. Proof of driving drunk is BS. They literally have to catch you if you get home and walk inside for one minute. And if they knock on your door... You can just say you just chugged a bottle of tequila. How are they gonna fucking prove it? Keep going! Literally the other day, Dini, you're sipping for a man who literally was trying to move out from you. Because I couldn't stand your ass anymore. His mods are outing him? Bye! <laughs> yes! Let's bring- let's get him <laughs> in his lies. Let's- he needs to own his lies. Oh, Dini's gonna try and clean up his reputation. That's like I did. Undeserving, obviously. Why would I use my real picture? Because I changed it after I was allowed to see him. I don't want- I don't even- I don't care. I don't want him to get arrested. I don't want to like- I don't even want him in trouble legally. That's why I dropped the thing. I don't want to have anything to do legally. But I also don't want to be disrespected by you after I did so much for you. F you! Are you serious? His biggest flex is that what a woman he mooches off of has a $4,000 mattress? <laughs> Congratulations, you are a f***ing winner. My mattress was 900 bucks, and it's fine. Just as comfortable as your stupid purple, dumb, my jizz infected mattress that you now have. You can you can wash it all you want. When we screwed on it, there was no sheet on it. It came off because I was moving around a lot. You know, made the sheets come off. And then I had my hands on your headboard. And I finished all over your purple bed. I loved it. While you were visiting your mom in the old nursing home, thinking that Natter would give up having sex with me, he wanted you to leave. He keeps going, just leave, Dee Dee. Just leave, Dee Dee. Just leave so I can pound my girlfriend. And she was even like, it's really sad, Natter, that you want to stay here in the hotel instead of coming to see my mother after you promised. Mm -hmm. So her $4,000 mattress, unless she gets a new one, will always have my DNA on it. Haha, <laughs> I ruined your mattress. <laughs> blah, 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 blah. My brother would never go near you! Dude, you literally were trying to live with me. You had your face all up in my fupa. You always call me, you're always like, miss your fupa. I miss your pussy, stupid. Whenever I say, he'll be like, I'm horny, go f*** I miss your pussy, stupid. Mm-hmm. Well, you're gonna miss it a lot more. Okay. <coughs> you will never see this fupa ever again in your life. Okay. I remember one time, I'll always remember the way, the one time he really, he was like crying and emotional and just like, I'm like, do you really love me? A lot. A lot. And I put up with a lot from you. If with anyone else, Chantal, I would not put up with this. I only put up with this because I love you. Really? Where? In my asshole?